Record. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our new podcast, Colin and the Cow. My name is Colin. My name's the Cow. No, your name's Lee. All right, I'll go for that. <laughs> but you're the cow. Cow. All right, explain to them why you're the cow, though. All right, the so. reason why I'm the cow is because I am the chief of wisdom. C-O-W, cow, chief of wisdom. That's my moniker here. Right, Colin? Right, okay, so let me let me just explain a little bit to our audience. Go ahead. Okay. So many people have told me, man, you and Lee have such a great banter on your Snapchat story. You guys should have your own show. <laughs> This is our attempt at actually having our own show, right? That's, that's it. That's it. So. About time. Yeah. <laughs> so, Lee, how was your weekend, man? Like, my weekend was great. I had a really good weekend. Uh, got a little something done on my truck. Got a little something done on the house. Just uh, <clears throat> had a good weekend. Had uh, Went out to dinner. Had a couple of good dinners. Oh, where'd you go? Like Let's see. Friday night, uh, we went to Crafty Bastards for a killer cowboy burger and live entertainment, which was really good. The guy playing there, the guitar, take my word for it, really good. Cool. That's awesome. Yep. My boys had their first soccer games. And How'd they we do? we crushed it. Of course we crushed it. Yeah, Maddox good. won his. He had like uh, he had like three goals. Schaefer had a goal or two. But we, we, just, we just murdered it. It was awesome. That's good. So look, now we're trying to come up with a cool concept for the show, right? And right. On Friday, I don't know if you remember, I sent out a little snap. I think it was on Snapchat and Instagram stories okay. saying, hey, if you have any questions that you want to ask Colin and the cow, make sure to ask it. And I just realized that that question is on that phone, <laughs> which is recording the vlog. So the questions that we have to answer well, are on the I phone recording. Huh? I got one question for you. Okay, we need but an engineer. I, I need to get to we that need question. An here. No, no, Can I access it through? I got you, bro. Give me a second. What? How are you going to access it? Okay. I don't even know my name and password. How much you want, you want to bet? Right now, folks, this is called dead hey, air. Hey, if your journey as an anthropologist, no, uh, are you logged into the account? No, my my like best friend said he it. knows how much oh, money. Oh, you really? Have. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, hey, ready? Says, Haley and Colin, in your journeys as entrepreneurs, what helped keep what helped keep you motivated when things got tough, or you were hit with roadblocks that seemed impossible? Got that? I got it. All right, first, explain to everybody why you're an entrepreneur as well, because nobody knows your history. So ex just give us the show. I'm sure over the course of this podcast, we're going to get like deep into our stories as entrepreneurs, but give them the short version for now. Well, <clears throat> I was in the plumbing business in South Florida for 25 years uh, before I came to Gainesville. I've been here for seven years and seen it Gainesville. And I guess you could say uh, being a business owner and doing all that kind of stuff, um, you know, it's like any other business. You learn your ups and downs. But to answer your question uh, about the roadblocks along the way, that's life. I mean, life's got its ups and downs, and uh, it's not all an easy road. I would say focus on the what you want to do, where you want to be, then focus on the problem. Never focus on the problem. Always persevere and focus on the where, wherever you're headed to, wherever you want to be. That would be my answer. Yeah, but how do you like, that, I mean, that's how you're keeping yourself motivated? Absolutely. Just being focused on where you want to be? Obstacles come in life. I mean, they come. They're going to come. That's all there is to it. So there are things that was explained to me one time out of your sphere of control so when you have no control over these things it it makes no sense to uh fret about it or what am i going to do about it or anything like that what, what's the point it's out of your control so stay focused on what you can control and do the things necessary to achieve the goal you're trying to achieve that would be my my answer was there any like major goal that you were always trying to achieve throughout when like, i was younger when i was younger i'll tell you when i was younger before i went into business when i was in the plumbing business 
my my thoughts were when I was learning plumbing, let's say, from the first day to the day I became a master plumber, if I couldn't make more money or learn more, I was gone. I didn't want to be stagnant. I didn't want to stay there. If I couldn't gather more uh, learning about the about the plumbing business and I couldn't make any more money, what would be the point to stay there? So I was on a fast track to be in business. And the way I had to do it was beat a master plumber and you had to take the test and um, that's what you had to do. Okay. We're going to, uh, I want you to tell the story that you told me one time that just had me dying. Be careful now, be careful. (laughs) That just had me dying laughing because I think it's an amazing story. Um, Do you remember The one about like the wife cheating on the husband that you were telling me about. Oh, you mean oh with the uh, the dresser drawers being thrown out in the front yard? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Can you can you please tell everybody that story? Well, you'd have to know a little bit about plumbing to understand this, but uh, explain explain it. Just explain. I'm, what I'm happened. 19 years old and I'm working with my cousin taking over my uncle's business while he's in Switzerland buying cuckoo clocks. All right. So my cousin and I are taking over his business, and we get this one call about a stoppage in the sewer line. So um, we go out there, and the man answers the door, and we uh, he's going in there and look at the bathroom, and yeah, no doubt about it, it stopped up. So in order to clean the drain, we have to go on the roof, and you run a cable down the vent stack to clear the stoppage down below. So we get everything out. We get the ladder, the extension cord, the sewer machine, the cable, all that stuff go up on the roof. And we're down there cleaning out the drain. Well, just about the time we pull the cable back up because we feel like we've got something and we can hear the water running down below, here comes the the owner of the house, the man, up the ladder, and he's on the roof. And he watches us as we're pulling this cable out, you know, the last few feet of cable. And on the end of the cable, there's probably, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 prophylactics all tied onto the end of the cable. What are prophylactics? Well, those are condoms. <laughs> so he looks at us and he I says, mean, "I knew what it was, but I just wanted it. To, I he, wanted it to be clear for not, everybody not else watching or listening." He says, uh, "Is that what I think it is?" And I said, "Well, what do you think it is?" And then he said, "Prophylactics." I said, "That's what it is." So he says, "Well, I don't understand it because I don't use them." Uh, we have no children for a babysitter to be here. It's a brand new house. Nobody has been here before. I said, uh, I don't know what to tell you, but that's what's on the line. We don't put them on there. We just take them out. <laughs> so the man turned around, went down the ladder. And the next thing we know, we're wrapping everything up on the roof. Here comes all these dresser drawers that are throwing out in the front yard, uh, out the front door with women's clothes in them. <laughs> well, we put everything in the truck and everything like that, and he's still pitching stuff out the front door. Um, and to make a long story short, it appears that his wife must have been doing something she wasn't doing, and he didn't like it too much. So he paid us, we left, and that was the end of the story. Did you see it when she came home or no? No, we weren't there for that no. episode. No, no. That's the best plumbing story ever. Uh, we've had a few of them like that. <laughs> That's oh, yeah, I more? Can remember. We'll, have to, we'll definitely have to get into more. <laughs> okay. Because those are awesome. Well, I, you know, that was just going off subject a little bit, but I will uh, answer this question from my perspective, right? So, Don't be discouraged by life's pitfalls. In your journey as pitfall. entrepreneurs, what helped yeah. keep you motivated when things got tough or you hit with roadblocks that seemed impossible? I don't know. Like, for me personally, I always look... One, these chairs are probably going to be all mic'd. You hear this? Squeaks. Probably sounds like the bed of the, the wife gotta and the person still. that just he's <laughs> cheating with. Um, yeah, try it. Don't move. Oh, yeah. It's a good vlogger, isn't it? Um, hold on, what was I saying? <laughs> That's going to happen a lot. This is a one word answer to this whole question perseverance. Perseverance. Well, yeah, so that's that's my so, whole thing. I so. think I'm I'm just blessed that I get to wake up every single day and do what I love. And that on some days it might be like, you know what? I want to start a podcast. I know nothing about podcasts, but let's start a podcast. And everybody who knows me, and I'm not saying this is the right thing to do or that you should do this. Like I know a lot of people like to taste different things and so they might try to do a podcast simply using the audio from their phone or something. But me, I usually go all in, right? I'm like, I'm like, okay, 
let's do a podcast and we get all the cool mics we get everything set up we want it to look good because we're going to record it and put it on video and that's just the way i've always been if i decide to do something i go all in for me though everything is about the journey right i don't even have i don't even know if i have a destination the closest thing to a destination that i have is gainesville as the scooter capital of the world right i'm always talking about that vision scooter capital of the world um but that could be so many things in reality right for me it's like i just want people to know uh, when they think the word scooter that they know new scooters for less that they they know gainesville florida they know the university of florida that's what i want um but I just enjoy every minute, like just the journey, the ride, the fact that we're that we're like, you know, let's wake up early, get in on Monday morning at 8 a.m. before before they start like pumping the music next door. We have a boxing gym next door that likes to crank music up, which is fine. They do that. But we're like, okay, strategically trying to line time with them so we can be here when it's quiet to record this podcast. (laughs) Um, I even enjoy that, you know. Sure. So for me, it's just about about the journey. I don't even get hung up on the little. I, I always refer to them as micro failures. Like we, I think as entrepreneurs, you just get in the habit of failing. You're gonna have little failures all the time. And I'm sure we'll happen. dive into that a whole lot more. I mean, is there like one particular failure that you can just recall throughout your plumbing career? I can't think of anything like right now, one major one or one that, but I mean, there's lots of little ones. I mean, there's jobs that don't, you don't get that you would, you look forward to getting. And there's reasons for that. You might not know it at the time, but you might learn later that lucky thing you didn't get that job. So, I mean, it's just things happen. It's life. It's just happens that way. And don't focus on that. Just persevere, keep your nose to the grindstone and just keep going. Just keep, pick yourself up and keep going. That's it. Yeah. It's going to happen. Persevere. That's think, what you need to do. I think too many people dwell on the past. They're, they let something that happened a year ago, three years ago, five years ago, just really drag them down and keep them keep them from like moving forward. And it's funny because in the last couple of weeks, even I've been having this kind of quote. Well, it's just this quote kind of stuck in my head of being prepared for where you're headed. Like, stop dwelling on. In fact, I like posted on Instagram last night. I'm like. It was a, a quote that just says, be prepared for where you're headed. Sure. Don't dwell on the past, right? It's funny. And it really came up last week when Ronald, who's filming right here, <laughs> when Ronald was, we, we were, you know, in the airport getting ready to go to Chicago for this genuine scooter dealer conference. And the boy has no pants. <laughs> no right? pants. Like no pants. He's wearing shorts. Okay. He's wearing shorts. And I'm like, I'm like, hey man, in business, in life, in general, like this this is applicable applicable in so many ways, literally and metaphorically, like all of it. You should always dress for where you're headed. Exactly. <laughs> Especially right? when you're going and to this a... boy's wearing shorts as yeah. we head to Chicago. Did you going the... go what? Did you get the boy some pants? <laughs> He Ubered to Old Navy twice yeah. during that week to yeah. go buy pants. Okay. You always need pants. <laughs> twice, Remember not that once, Remember not that. once, but yeah. twice. Yeah. So there is a great life lesson there for, Don't business, forget your pants. for business people. Oh, I'm hitting the mic. It's for business people, for, for anybody, like always dress for where you are headed. Always prepare for where you are headed and don't dwell on the past so that was a, a great business lesson that i could think dress came from for that. success absolutely that's it dress for success and for me that means blue jeans and long that's sleeve it. tees yeah there no you suits. go <laughs> and don't and don't forget the pants so well uh we have any more questions was that that was all the questions i think okay uh, there's just one that's that was, great it just got hit up i hope but. that uh whoever uh uh Get some value out of it. Yeah, uh, gave us that question. Just listen, we'll listen, and um, I hope they got some value out of it. So, I'm excited to see what kind of comes out of this. Was this was a fun first experimental episode? I thought so. <laughs> Everybody is always, like I said, always saying you you and Lee need a show. You guys are so good. Like, just uh, throw stuff 
because we're always we're always holding the phone out and snap snapchatting stuff oh yeah i'll be like Lee, get over here <laughs> come over here i want to throw stuff up i'm anxious to see if we can get some more questions from the viewers out there the listeners out there and yes, just get some I more mean, questions we can talk about things th- that are on their mind or anything like that are bugging them or anything like that there's no particular direction or viewer that we were really trying to go for right but yeah. I think what would be a little bit unique or niche in a way, I mean, is because of the fact that we deal or that we have we have so many college students as customers that, and I build these relationships with a lot of them through Snapchat, through Instagram, through social media, through the dealership, that kind of thing, that I would just love to see some of their questions as they head to the next chapter sure. of their life. You know, we have so many students that are about to graduate in a few weeks. I mean, mm-hmm. it's the 16th, I think graduation's like right at, the beginning of month, at, right at the beginning of May. Yeah. And as people start to head into that next chapter of their life, you know, I'd love to get some questions from them as they prepare for that and, you know, hit us up. Send if us, we send could us help questions. them, that's if, the thing. If you're in college, you wanna know which classes to stay away from, Hit us up. <laughs> I mean, whatever it is, like hit us up and let let Lee and I answer those for you. Um, we look forward to having a lot of fun with this thing. And, Absolutely. Uh, we'll see you guys later. So yeah. If you want to sign off? Sign off. All right. This is the cow. Moo. <laughs> see you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>